Uh, good morning, it's Friday and it's the 22nd of April and this is a brief video. Just looking at Caulfield Race 5 tomorrow where the track is currently in the soft 5. I just wanted to try and explain ratings to you a little bit. And in my GTX program we've got our windform ratings which you can see down there, 1, 2, 3, 4 down to 17. And there are our guide and they're the prices that we've got. So you can see quite an open race now. Uh, we reckon Hassan Eagle is about a $6.20 chance. And you can see over here that uh, it's expected to be somewhere around seven to eight dollars, and so on. But you can probably also see that our first four picks here are pretty much all in the market, with only hell of a street being outside as likely a twenty to one chance. And you can see the reason for this because what I've done, I've set up what they call traffic lights, and so I've combined all the ratings programs that I have available to me within this program. And uh, if they're within a reasonable um, sight of the top, if you like, they get a, a green box and a red box if they don't. So here we are. The first one here has three. The second one has uh, five out of six, four out of six, five out of six. And we go down to this one. This is uh, under the lever, which also gets five out of six, even though he's our sixth rated horse at the moment. Everybody else has him right on top. Okay, so looking at the spell here, you can see you ran fifth first up last start, and Leather's going to set a closer look here. Uh, we can find that first up. He's had four starts for two wins in a second. So that's the reason, I guess, that a lot of people would have him on top. Also, Mark Zara has done pretty well with him. Uh, only missed the place with him once, and that's who has got the ride today. The barrier 13 won't be a bother, because uh, the outside barriers at the 1100 are actually somewhat of an advantage. At Caulfield. So, uh, just looking back here again, uh, we can see here that's a good idea. Now, that's an interesting horse, and uh, I've got it rated uh, second, and it does get five stars, so it's within the top ratings for most of the races. Have a look though at what happens if the track remains a little bit soft. Six starts on rain affected tracks, only one placing. Six starts, or one placing on heavy tracks. And on good tracks, 26 starts for 8 wins and 10 placings, so that's uh, 18 out of 26. A very, very good place strike rate. So what we'd be looking for, if that's a good idea, is a little bit of an improvement in the track rating tomorrow. Nevertheless, he's won over 1,000 and 1,100, and uh, got a place 5 times out of 6 over the distance. So they're just some things to consider. And of course, the upcomer here is Shadell. Trained by David Hayes, previously racing in Ascot, where it chalked up 11 wins from 17 starts, has resumed for third at Mooney Valley, uh, fourth at Sandown, and it'll be very interesting to see how Shadell handles the Caulfield track. Distance is no worries, three starts for two wins. And uh, we don't have to worry about first to second up. Just a very, very consistent mare, and it's going to be a matter of whether she can uh, come up to the competition tomorrow was a very short price favourite its last two starts. Tomorrow, a more generous price of around five dollars expected. Okay, that's enough and I just like to go over again. You can see it goes all the way down to this one. The anonymously is an eight year old so I'd leave that out. But really if you were taking a canola or a trifecta you would want to include those first six runners. Oh, good luck.